We welcome you back to the reservation where Carson Newman collects a 31 to 20 win over the Limestone Saints. Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head coach Mike Turner. Mike, congratulations. A gutty performance in the second half, especially defensively. What adjustments needed to be made to put the Saints away? I think they, uh, you know, it was like a, it was like a game of two halves. Uh, we made some, we gave up some big plays on defense in the first half. We made some big plays on offense that kept us uh, equal ahead there at halftime. Uh, and then you flip it in the second half, and wow, did our defense play just first class. I mean, they were on top of everything, uh, totally in an attack mode and a takeaway mode, which was great to see. Uh, so, man, I was very, very happy with them and, and love to see their excitement and getting in there. But the biggest thing we talked about, making having turnovers happen, and they did. And the one thing that we haven't really seen this season uh, from your, your unit is – outstanding individual effort. The effort has been there defensively, but it's right. you look at the gr group. Today, Sahim Stupart, playing in his home state, 16 right. tackles. Wow. Des Farrell, uh, two outstanding individual plays, an interception where he manages to keep his feet and then return it away, and then one-on-one, -on -one, uh, a man-to-man -man fumble recovery. Right. What about the job of those two guys? Well, that goes back to expecting to make big plays. If you expect to make those things, uh, uh, got a chance to do it, but they're, they're in an attack mode, and those guys made individual plays, but probably when you look at it, it's because there was 10 other guys in an attack mode that made something happen uh, to have an opportunity to make the takeaway, to make 16 tackles. Great, great effort by our defensive staff and uh, by our defensive team. And, gosh, our offensive kids hung in there, uh, found a way to get it done. Um, got some frustration there in the second half, and, and, uh, and the biggest problem with the frustration was the head coach. Because I was coaching frustrated, and I apologize to them uh, in the locker room because you see so many things that you think we should be able to take advantage of, and we're not getting that done. And uh, But, hey, we took care of the football, and that was the biggest part of this game. I really believe that we took care of the football, and uh, they had to go the hard way for what they earned, and then our defense was able to come up with some turnovers and uh, turned it into gold. You say frustrations. What's it say about this team that they overcame? those frustrations oh I, I think it says a lot they're growing up Adam uh, they are growing up uh, probably three weeks ago that would have really been a problem tonight that wasn't a problem hey we'll find a way to get it done and uh, we made some mistakes had some uh, communication problems you know uh, uh, everybody uh, you know defense saved me because we wanted to try the fake on the punt you know what I mean and, <laughs> And uh, we wanted to do that. Well, we did it, and it wasn't good. But, boy, did the defense come in and rally. That's, uh, I was looking for a shovel to dig a hole for myself. But thank goodness for our defense to shut them down. They got nothing out of it. Uh, but, man, what a great win for the Eagles because uh, I'm telling you, boy, that, that just.